everyone, this is Sandra from the blog thesensiblemom.com and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade liquid hand soap. The first thing that you're going to need for your hand soap is a big pot to cook it in. The second thing you're going to need is a gallon of water and if you have a pitcher like this one at home, you can just fill it twice to the two quart line and you'll have your gallon of water. Four quarts equals one gallon. And next you're going to need a bar of high quality soap. I use Dr. Bonner's All One Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap made with organic oils. I get this soap from Trader Joe's. Probably could also find it at Whole Foods or online. It costs around three dollars and fifty cents. And um, so I can't stress enough. You want to use a high quality uh, bar of soap. Um, if you use something cheap, then your uh, hand soap is probably not going to come out to the consistency that you want it to. But you'll take your bar of soap and you'll grate it up. So I have my daughter grate this up for me. And last ingredient is glycerin. And we get our glycerin from Hobby Lobby, but you could also find it at, at grocery stores, I believe. Although I've never found it at grocery stores, I've seen people mention that they have found their glycerin there. Or um, I've also found glycerin in the past at Michael's Craft Store. So you might find it there. We got this at Hobby Lobby for $1.99, and I won't use the whole thing. But you'll need two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of glycerin to make your hand soap. So we'll get started. First we'll take the water. And we'll pour this in the pot. So remember four quarts of water all together. One gallon all together. So you're going to get quite a bit of hand soap out of this. Next we're going to take our high quality soap. And we're going to put that in the pot with the water. Okay. And last, we're going to take two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of glycerin. And this is what's going to give us that soapy consistency the liquid hand soap has. And I use a little bit extra. The original recipe that I used only called for two tablespoons, but I found that that left our soap a little bit runny and um, not quite the consistency that we like to have our liquid hand soap. So using a little bit extra, an extra teaspoon, helps to get it to the right consistency. Okay, so you, that's it. You just put everything in your pot. Mix it all up. And after this, I'm going to put this, after I get this mixed up, I'm going to put this on the stove. And I'm going to heat it just until the uh, soap has dissolved. And then it's going to take about 10 to 12 hours. And I'm going to show you guys the progression. But it's going to take about 10 to 12 hours for this to become the consistency of the hand soap that we're all used to buying in the store. So it's going to be a lot better because it's going to be homemade. Okay, so here is what our hand soap looks like on the stove. And I have it on the stove here over about medium heat. And all we're looking for and all we're waiting for here is for the soap to dissolve. Okay, it should take maybe 20 minutes for your soap to dissolve. Once that happens, you'll just take the whole pot off of the heat and set it aside and then you'll just stir it every couple of hours until it gets to the right consistency. And that will probably be around 10 to 12 hours after your soap dissolves. Okay, and I do want to mention that you don't need to bring this to a boil or anything like that. All you need to do is just let it heat and um, let the soap dissolve. Okay guys, so our soap is all done dissolving. As you can see, there's none left. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the stove off. And I'm going to remove this from the heat. And all I'm going to do now and I'll update periodically, is just give this a stir every uh, two hours or so. Hi guys, so this is our hand soap. And as you can see, it's turned a nice white color. 
and it's got the consistency of hand soap now and I'll give you a shot of the inside of the pot this is the finished product and I wanted to remind everybody to stir their hand soap every two hours or so so that you get the right consistency if you don't stir your soap it's going to take a lot longer for it to set and to get the right consistency okay so very important to be stirring the soap every couple of hours next I'm going to show you how we store the soap we use this container here that was purchased specifically for storing the hand soap and the way we transfer it from here to the soap dispenser is with a cup and a funnel so you definitely want to have a funnel to transfer your soap easily from, from where you're storing it to your soap dispenser and speaking of soap dispensers you do want to get a high quality dispenser don't just reuse a dispenser from one of your store bought soaps it's definitely better to use a high quality soap dispenser so that when your soap comes out it comes out nicely and not runny so we got this on clearance at Target for around 70% off and um, it's a really good dispenser works great with our homemade hand soap and that's it that's all you need uh, to make homemade hand soap we made a whole gallon for under five dollars just three ingredients water glycerin and high quality soap if you want to print out the recipe please visit my blog thesensiblemom.com and also you can visit my blog to get more DIY tips and tutorials thanks a lot guys bye bye